even though the domestic primary energy production is mostly based on renewable energy sources, Portugal is highly dependent on imported energy. Furthermore, the decommissioning of the two only coal power plants till 2030 makes the planning of the national power supply a very sensitive issue. In this episode, I will give you an overview about Portugal's current energy system. with the evolution of the energy balance, including the domestic production, the imports, the primary and final energy consumption. Besides of the general decrease of the primary and final energy consumption, the red and yellow line, till 2013, and the following slight increase, you can see clearly the weight of the energy imports, the blue line, which increased lately significant. On the other hand, you can see that the domestic production, the orange line, increased in general over the last 15 years, but also showed a decrease lately. After having achieved 72.4% in 2014, the lowest value of the last two decades, Portugal's dependency on foreign energy reached in 2017 almost 80%. The analysis of the primary energy consumption per energy source shows that even though its relative weight maintains its downward trend, oil and its byproducts remain the most used energy source, accounting for about 40% of primary energy consumption in 2017. The second most popular energy source was natural gas, with about 24%. The third was coal closely followed by biomass and electricity. Comparing the domestic annual production of electricity between 2017 and 2018, it can be observed that in the last year the renewable energy contribution increased significantly. This difference was mainly due to the hydroelectric component, which is highly dependent on the hydrological conditions. Furthermore, it can be seen that the hydroelectric component was responsible for about 25% in 2018 of the electricity produced, followed by wind production, biomass, photovoltaic and geothermal. The Portuguese energy import dependency is high and in fact far above the European average, making the country highly exposed to the volatility of the world energy markets. Regarding the high national renewables potential and the ambitious agenda of public policy to decarbonize its energy system, it is expected that the energy dependency will decrease. But the availability of the renewable energy sources and the projections on the impacts of climate change on southern Europe and Mediterranean regions, including the decrease of annual water flows, will make the Portuguese power sector very susceptible to weather conditions. Thanks for watching.